brand new day in the wasteland with Raylan and we are continuing the special forces storyline it's been a while since we've seen her I really like her design I like the shades I like the barrette I like the well beret I should say I like the no-nonsense gameplay attitude and I like the fact that she is loyal to the army known as the Brotherhood and right now we've got to go ahead and cash in a couple of quests with the Brotherhood even though they are radiant quests we will still cash them in she's got to get in good with them she's got to make an impression because every time you get a new job you always want to make a good impression As you can tell, she's palling around with McGreedy right now. Although I've never been really thrilled with him as a companion, at least he has the military motif going down. Which is alright, because that's what she's into. Brand new day has brought us lag. That's all right. She's almost here to home base. She's got to cash in the quarter mastery and then the uh, cleanse the commonwealth quests <laughs> and it's all good which means they'll give her more of it but I know at some point they're gonna start telling me to go to Far Harbor to collect these quests, but I don't necessarily want to go there with her at this particular moment. But that also means for her to move forward in the Brotherhood storyline, she's got to. Uh... Okay, here we go. Any luck with that artifact? Here it is. Good. I was hoping you'd bring it back safely. Here, I'm always looking for tech. Let me know if you think you can handle another run. Uh-huh. Affirmative. That's what I like to hear. Areas on your map. Good luck. Thank you, Scribe Halen. Hesitating to pull the trigger on any of the Commonwealth scum can be fatal. It's a good thing you're here to tell me this. Show your face. I take it that area's clear. Why is this guy walking away? Affirmative. Oh, see, Kitteridge Pass. Keep proving your worth. I may start to trust you. Here, the Commonwealth won't be running out of vermin anytime soon. If you need time to regroup, take it. Once you're ready, let me know. I'm ready. Good answer. Here's the data on the location. Don't come back until the op's done. Oh, uh, look at that. Both of them want me to go to Far Harbor. And it's going to happen sooner or later. It always does. Okay, let's see what else we can choose from here. Long road ahead. Okay, continue with him. Talk to Dr. Amari. That's to move the main story ahead. Nakano. Yeah. Oh, she was still working with um, the Minutemen. All right. Freedom Trail, Mechanical Menace, All Aboard, Vault Tech, King of the Death Cloud, okay, Five Minutes, Miscellaneous. Blood Samples, Personal Storage, Give Sheffield a Nuka Cola. <laughs> yeah, that's my first priority right there. Sheffield. Alright, Tour of Duty, No Mercy, which means 
the rest of the quest is not going to speed up until we talk to Amari. And Dangerous Minds, that's the... Um, That's the quest concerning going through um, Kellogg's head. A quest I don't particularly care for. But well, we're going to have to do it to speed things up. Or at least to move things along in the main quest. We can go ahead and mosey over that direction. That means after Dangerous Mines, she'll be sent to uh, looking for Virgil. Now, see, that's the part I like because I like going through the glowing sea, it's like going on safari. Oh, cool. We actually teleport inside of it. That's great. Whoever this Brotherhood of Steel is, I'm not buying that. Can you believe that? Denizens of a city that does not believe in the Brotherhood of Steel? What's with these people? <laughs> what's, what's going on here? out of the den, Irma, but I'd never walk out on you. Ooh. Hmm. Amari's downstairs. <laughs> Amari's downstairs. You robotic abomination, you. <laughs> okay. Alright, it's all fun and games, huh? Until he loses a nut or a bolt. Come. I've got the brain matter. Amari? Yes. I take it this isn't a social We need your help, Doctor. I need the memories from a man named Kellogg. But he's dead. I know it's asking for a miracle, Amari. But you've pulled off the impossible before. Are you too mad? aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse, mm. you don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. Well, this is a um, hellish wasteland and all that, Amari. Please. Nick told me you're the only one who could make this work. This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this, and so do we. Fine. I'll take a look. Mm. No guarantees. Do you have it with you? Yeah, she's got it in her pocket. Here's what I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is... Wait. That's the hippocampus. That's a prawn. A thing attached to it? A neural interface? Mm, those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. Go on, Doctor. Mr. Valentine is an older generation synth. But Institute technology being what it is, the brain implant could fit him. But that's an incredible risk to take. We're talking about wiring something to his brain. Don't worry about me, Amari. I'm well past the warranty date anyway. Hey, I appreciate this, Nick. You 
even thank me when we found your son. All right, let's do this. Mm. If I start cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? McGreedy, be quiet. This is serious. Let's see you. I need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be bad. Are you feeling any different? There's a lot of flashes. Static. I, I, I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories and the impact. Well, that's not good. Tell me you have a way past this, Doctor. Let me think. The encryption is too strong for a single mind. But what if we use two? We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory loungers. Run your cognitive functions in parallel. He'll act as a host while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. Sounds sexy. All right, let's get started. Just sit down over there and keep your fingers crossed. See you on the other side. All right, Valentine, you be good. Don't screw this up. They always put the companion on the other on the right side there when you're doing this piece. Migration between the transplant and the host. Mnemonic activity coming from the transplant. It's degenerated, but it's there. We're going to load you into the strongest memories we can find. They might not be stable. Just hold on. Can you hear me? Ah, good. The simulation appears to be working, although the memories are quite fragmentary. I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. There. This is the earliest intact memory I can find. And off we go. Down the yellow brick road. Remember, you are experiencing these memories as Kellogg. This may prove disorienting at first. school said the NCR would bring back the good old days, like before the big war. Don't you listen to that twaddle. That twaddle. I'm going to stop singing you if that's what they're teaching you. I'm going out. Where the fuck did you put my food? Listen to me, Connor. You take this. You're old enough. You're the man of the family now. It's your job to protect us. Your father's useless. But you won't turn out like him. You're a good boy. And all that on the radio. All useless talk. The only thing that will protect you in this world is that gun in your hands. You need to learn to use it if you're going to survive. I... I will, Mom. I promise. I will let you down. You have always been my good boy. This doesn't seem to be what we're looking for. There appears to be another intact memory close to you in temporal sequence. There. Try that one. Yeah. You know, Jason Voorhees' mother said the same thing. You're such a good boy. <laughs> oh, man, it's twisted. Here. And now 
with the baby? Come on, Sarah, you've got to give it a chance. I finally got steady work with a good outfit. Nothing like that in the NCR these days. No, I, I'm not saying this was a mistake. I, I'm just... Are you sure these guys know what they're doing? They seem kind of green. I know, but that's where I come in. Just wait. In a few years, I'll be running my own crew. As soon as I make the connections I need. Then I can give you anything you want. A little Mary, too. I never worried about you before. Must be my mama instincts kicking in. <laughs> Who knew I had those, huh? Come on, you're great with her. And you don't need to worry about me. Most of it's just running security for the she. A lot of standing around looking tough. They sure picked the right person for that job. Listen, it's gonna be great here. See this? This is what's gonna keep you and Mary safe. I promise. I know. I'm sure we're gonna be really happy here. We are. You'll see. That's okay. I got her. Let's keep looking. I'll connect you to the next intact memory. And here we go. Down memory lane. How did you think this was going to end, Kellogg? Tragedy. <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us, and we wouldn't fuck with you? Just so you know, they died like dogs. And you weren't there to help them. I found another memory to try. I'll connect you. Yeah, but it's way over there. Alright, I'll take the mind bridge. So, um, I hear you'll take care of people's problems. Is that right? If you pay me. Oh, we'll pay you. And, uh, you'll do this all by yourself? That's right. We pay you when the job's done. Is that okay? That's the way you want to do it. So who do you want dead? Well, it's like this. There's his family. Lives down the creek with that dude on the left, man, I love those chops. Those are awesome. Mr. Kelly, I'm glad you decided to meet with me. So, you're with the Institute. I wanted to see for myself if you really existed. We do. As you can see. Oh. What do you want? It's come to my attention that you've been rather disruptive of our operations lately. This must stop. I do what people pay me to do. If that's a problem for you, I can see only one way out. And what's that, Mr. Kellogg? If I'm working for you, there's no more problem. From what I hear, you can afford me. I don't think you fully understand the situation you're in. I think I do. Very well. B-748, initiate. Hmm. Impressive. We may have something to talk about after all. Getting warmer. One of these has got to tell us something. We are running out of brain here. Ah. ah, there's one that looks mostly intact. Connecting now. Kellogg's gonna join the gang. 
Not like Cool in the gang. Kellogg in the gang. Like this. Yeah, we're almost done on this brain train. Hopefully it's all just find it. Pond C six down the hall near the end. Still not giving you, Sean. Don't be shy. This is the one. Here. Open it. <laughs> is it Almost. Right? Everything's going to be fine. Come here. Come here, boy. I got him. Let the boy go. I'm only gonna tell you once. I'm not giving you shot. God damn it. Get the kid out of here and let's go. At least we still have the backup. Cryogenic sequence reinitialized. Not cool. What's the holdup? I'm almost finished, Kellogg. I just need to confirm. Uh, all right, we're good. Hmm. Okay. Here we go with the last one. And is that your son? This appears to be a very recent memory, so good news, I think. And where's the uh, Synth at? The Courser. There he is. Kellogg. It's okay. Try to get a good. One of these days you're gonna get you your head here. blown off just barging in here like that. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the institute. Left? What? As in, he's gone rogue. He's bugged out. He's Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's <laughs> hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. Oh man, they got files. The heads are gonna roll for this. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top biosciences. You know, Kellogg should get some of those other yeah. boots that the Courser has. So, those are cool. I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Mm hmm. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. Are you taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Okay. Kellogg, request those boots. Boots. X688. Ready to relay with Sean. Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. Hey, you don't want to do that. He's a murderer. Bye. Teleportation. Mm-hmm. sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the Institute because there is no entrance. Let me pull you out of there. Uh, as soon as you're ready. Yes, yes. Come on. Let's go. Exit. Pow. All right. That bit's done. Now we can move on to bigger and better things. Alright. Slow movements, okay? Slow. I don't know what kind of side effects the procedure might have had. No one's ever done this before. How do you feel? Well, I feel like I want to turn off that 
radio if I can find it. Alright, no, come here, Amari. Dr. Amari, let's start over. How are you feeling? <laughs> let's start over. Yeah, okay. I'm okay, Doctor. Thank you. That's good. But I want you to keep monitoring yourself. We have to be sure there's no long term damage. Are you ready to talk about what happened in there? There's more than one person who knows about the Institute. Mm. Virgil, that scientist who escaped. I didn't know Institute scientists could defect. This changes everything. He could answer all sorts of questions. Where did the memory say he was? The glowing sea? That can't be right. No one would risk going there, not even to hide. Maybe he's got some cool boots that helps him do it. If we need to find Virgil, then I'm going after him. If you're going to go, be prepared. You'll need some way to combat the radiation there. It's called the Glowing Sea for a reason. I'll find a way to get through the Reds. Don't worry. Good luck. And be safe. By the way, I unplugged Mr. Valentine first. Removed the implant while you were waking up. He's waiting for you upstairs. Thank you, Dr. Amari. Now let's grab some of these goodies you got going on here. Cause she's got sticky fingers right now. Grog and neck. Wow, you can hear him talking. He's not even in the room. Alright, McCready, get off your duff. We got things to do. Oops, wrong way. Oops, wrong way. Oh, Nick. Nick. Hope you got what you were looking for inside my head. <laughs> that was right. I should have killed you when you were on ice. Is that you? What? What are you talking about? You sounded like Kellogg just then. Did I? Huh. Mari said there might be some mnemonic impressions left over. Anyway, I feel fine, so let's get going. Or I could head back to Diamond City, since you've got company already. I'll see you around, Nick. Good luck out there. You know where to find me. Yes, I do, Nick. Thank you. Did I get that skill magazine? I'll have to check whether I did or not. From the, what, Rexford Hotel? I think that's what it's called. We should head over to the Nakano residence when we can. Find out what their case is about. Peace, sister. Well, I know what it's about, Nick. Let's see here. What do we need? We need perks. Here we go. Oh, live in love. Okay, yeah, we did. We got it. There it is right there. Alright. And that means... Ever been to kill or be killed? Some fun with the uh, probably will here shortly. I don't see if she has anything to um, sell in her inventory, so we'll go ahead and call it here. And next time around, we'll go ahead and continue with the main quest so we can move the Brotherhood of Steel quest along. So stay cool. Later.